Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Weird Mini of the Week, and we're back again. You can't stop us. <laughs> um, yeah, so, hey, it's round two of the final bracket until we get to the winner's bracket. Uh, and we'll do something after that, I'm sure. Uh, something like that, yeah. We'll <laughs> see where we end up. Anyway, um, I won last week with my little fungal men, or last time. Sure. I call it a victory. <laughs> you brought a shark. <laughs> Did I? I don't yeah. remember. <laughs> Goldfish. Anyway, um, so I have decreed that you will go first. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, how often do you see minotaurs in your games? Pretty regularly, but like not. How about a minotaur with boobs? The female miniator. <laughs> Show it to the top camera. That's my, you know, yeah. Minocal. <laughs> yeah, you can't hardly tell except it, the Minotaur does have a brassiere. Because, <laughs> of course. But uh, other her, than that, her, like, it's it's very, you can't really tell. Her, 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 yeah. her milk glands are in the wrong place. It should be down a bit lower. <laughs> That's what the skirt's for. Ugh. Maybe, I don't know. Jeff swears he's not a furry. Look, man, weird, weird animal things. Yeah, no, I know. Weird animal things. So, so what's your one for this week? <laughs> the halfling cook. Oh, <laughs> why is he here? What is he doing here? Look at him. He looks like the chef Boyardee guy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was a inside joke. Inside reference. <laughs> Actually, he looks more like Wendell, the cinnamon toast crunch guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, okay, so. All right, so you're playing D&D, &D, right? What are you more likely to come across? What are you more likely to need a, a miniature for? A halfling cook or a female a minotaur? minotaur. Uh, so, like. Not How only many times do you put a minotaur in your game and decide it's it should definitely be female? <laughs> Not just a random zero, minotaur, but zero like, times, yeah. zero times out of ever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't put Torin in my game. <laughs> I don't play World of Warcraft. The likelihood of you ever needing a female minotaur is low, but not nearly so low as having to have a halfling cook as a mini in your miniatures game or in your D&D game where you're fighting primarily with minis. Why is there a halfling cook? I'm Why is he so cherubic looking? You know, Why does he is, have a honey pot? You know, this just makes me want to put this. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> in, a, <laughs> mm -hmm. in something. Oh, yeah, no, I know you're... <laughs> You're all, you're bound and determined to try and prove me wrong because anytime I say it, <laughs> like why would you ever have something like that? It's like I will find a reason. <laughs> but yeah, like he's not like even a, like a halfling war chef or something. He's just like I'm just a cook. Hello, look, look at me, I'm a little cherubic boy. Even Rice Krispies exists in the D and D universe. <laughs> Hooray for Chef Boyardee. <laughs> I think we're going to call him Chef Blair Don't. <laughs> I'm going to call him Wendell. <laughs> How dare I? <laughs> War! <laughs> um, so what do you think, folks? <laughs> uh, a Minotaur is peculiar enough. Why would you make it a female Minotaur? I don't know. Only only uh, Jay Weeb knows. <laughs> hey, Jay Weeb. Yeah, he's back. This is B. Jackson. Jay Weeb is popular on the show, apparently. Yeah, because he's a weirdo, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I almost, when we're done, mm -hmm. and you might want to put a little, like, note below uh, if it if it is uh, i want to try to find the actual just normal like male minotaur yeah mini miniature Min the miniature miniature the minotaur yeah we got puns um, here folks 
and see if this is the exact same model except without the boobs. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a, most of I them. I have a strong feeling it is. Okay. Well, <laughs> the, most of the Minotaurs that I've seen out there are like going, Rah! like with their arms wide open. Mm -hmm. Well, we're about to find out. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> but before that, before our trip to the front end, <laughs> um, which one is weirder? I'll give it to you this time. Again. I think so. Like uh, Minotaur is fairly standard D and D creature, even if this one is a cow. <laughs> um, they could have gone a lot stranger with it, and I'm glad they didn't. Stranger. Uh, but yeah, like a uh, halfling. Like, okay, we get it. Halfling. Oh, and the hole in her axe is a little heart. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> okay, so that's transgressed or transcended the bounds of weird into like kind of creepy, <laughs> <laughs> like suspiciously wealthy furries strike again. But uh, the halfling cook takes it because he looks just like a little chubbiest boy. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks like he's about to make me a, a a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch, or a bowl of ravioli. Yeah, whichever. Yeah. <laughs> well, right. Depends on how it's painted, right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, there's our winner. <laughs> um, for Weird Mini of the Week, I've been CJ. That's I'm Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> and that was a mistake. So is that, but. Uh, yeah, but who's counting, right? <laughs> anyway, so we'll see you next time. <laughs>